Happy Friday, Redeemer. It's April 14th. I'm Pastor Miller. Boy, did we have one fantastic celebration of the empty tomb this last week. Thank you to all of you who participated in all of your supportive ways to make that day as wonderful as it really was. Remember that on Easter Sunday afternoon, Jesus appeared and showed himself alive to the disciples who were gathered in the upper room, but Thomas wasn't there. And despite the fact that all the rest of the disciples gave their eyewitness accounts that they had actually seen Jesus, Thomas flatly refused to believe. One week later, this Sunday, Jesus is going to appear to the disciples again in the upper room with the doors locked. And he's going to say, peace be with you. And then he's going to go over to Thomas and say, stop doubting and believe. And then speak to you and me. Blessed are you who have not seen, but yet have believed. Jesus Christ has in fact been raised from the dead, the foundation of our faith, the hope of humanity, and the promise of eternal life forever. In news this week at Redeemer, continue to pray for all the people who are holding calls to various fields of service. First of all, for our seventh and eighth grade called teacher, to our kindergarten called teacher, and then also to a third spot, uh, to Mrs. Shannon Farley, who's holding a call to teach preschool and then give principal release time. Also pray for Mrs. Valerie Fallendorf. She's holding a call to serve preschool in a congregation back in the Midwest. Remember that uh, those of you who donated Easter flowers, you can take those with you this upcoming Sunday. When you come to church, take one of the flowers with and plant it at, uh, in and around your home. Great Exchange is happening this week. That's on Monday and Tuesday. We're going to be doing a little bit of cleanup with our Bible 401. We'll do our next scheduled lesson, and then we expect that we will finish God So Loved the World for this round of study. Easter is not just a moment. It's not just a day. For Christians, it is a way of life. For Christians, it is how we think. It's how we act. Easter is really an every Sunday thing. When you come to worship this week, and I'm looking forward to worshiping with you, we'll celebrate the empty tomb again and have those words of Jesus ring in our ears. Blessed are you who have not seen and yet have believed. I'm Pastor Miller, and that's your Ministry Minute.